everybody and welcome to your weekly dose of inspiration. I hope that you had a great celebration last Sunday. It was Father's Day. It was a good time. We had a great message from a guest speaker all the way from Newcastle, Australia, Pastor Mark Zay. And it was amazing. If you've not heard it yet, I encourage you to get on all our platforms, our YouTube, Facebook and Instagram and listen to it. Go back to last Sunday's message and listen to it. I, I guarantee that you will be blessed. So I hope that you're ready for something really good today. I've got just a nugget to give you today and I hope that this nugget will help you throughout this week. You see, there are a lot of things that are wrong in this world today and, um, and that's, that's, that's supposed to happen, that's natural. From the time of the fall of man, the world has already been on a downward spiral. But the one thing that we need to focus on, the thing that has to be the beacon of hope or the thing that has to be the role model of righteousness is the church. Some time ago, Bishop T.D. Jakes from the United States mentioned this when he was questioned about the culture that the world was currently in. Where does the church stand in this, in this culture of boundaryless freedom? And he said something that was very profound. He said, the world will be the world. The church needs to be the church and i thought that was really profound the world will be the world the world knows how to be the world the problem is the church has forgotten how to be the church that we are so caught up with what's happening in the world we are becoming the world instead of being the church in the book of proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 it says there is power of life and death in your tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit in the new living translation it says there's power of life and death in your tongue and those who love to talk will reap its consequences what am i trying to say you see everybody in the world today is shouting out their opinions because we live in a culture where it's all right to say anything about everything about nothing that you understand of and not be held accountable for what you say and you even have the right to be offended if you were held accountable and that is a sad culture it's a culture that was built upon boundaryless freedom boundaryless freedom it's not the freedom that the bible talks about the freedom that is the, that is in the bible it is freedom with boundaries because our God is a God of order. A boundaryless freedom culture breeds chaos. And as I've mentioned weeks before, that chaos, the author of chaos is none other than the devil himself. He is the author of confusion and chaos. And it's if any narrative is breeding or preaching that message, then the church needs to stand on the opposite direction of that message because we were created in the image of an orderly God, a God of order. And therefore, that is the characteristics we should portray or display. We should promote order and not chaos. And because... The culture is such that you and I can say anything about everything even though the thing that we're talking about is something that we know nothing about and the best part is you can't hold me accountable for what I have to say because it is my opinion and my opinion only and I can say whatever I want and because of that culture we've taken words so lightly but the Bible reminds us that our words have the power to build or to kill our words have a power to life to give life or to bring death our words have the power to encourage or discourage our words have the power to edify or to destroy we need to watch what we say the problem with the culture in this world today is that because everybody wants to be heard nobody is spending time listening nobody is listening friends let me tell you this as much as you want to be heard you also need to spend some time listening as much as you want to use this you had you have two ears and only one mouth why because you need to spend more time listening than speaking 
and we need to watch what we're saying because your word will bring either life or death so what are you saying in your families what are you saying parents what are you saying to your children husbands what are you saying to your wives wives what are you saying to your husbands what are you saying about your family what are you saying about your church what are you saying about your leaders what are you saying to your leaders what are you saying about the gifts that God has given you? What are you saying about your life? What are you saying about your future? The world wants to give you its narrative of your future. You need to watch. You and I, we need to watch and be careful of what narrative we are taking in to build our future. So we need to be very, very careful what narrative we are putting in here. And in here, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Bible says, you'll find a few times throughout the gospel, it says, He who has a ear, let him hear. I think it's time, church, that we reduce the volume a little bit. Not the volume of your worship songs, the volume of this. Too much shouting, too many opinions. Shh! listen more the holy spirit wants to talk to us god wants to talk to us we need to go back to the word of god what future are you building for yourself what future are you building for the next generation for your families what narrative are you putting in here for the future you want the world will always try to push its narrative on you to build the future they want to see in you. You need to know who you are and where you belong to. You are the church. You belong to Christ. Everything that you say should be checked with the word of God. That is your compass. You go back to the word of God for everything, not your preference not about not how you feel the word of god that is key this week try something different try using a different narrative and see if you have a better week ahead or you come back still on a friday depressed because of what's happening in the world and not having a clue of what to do and being afraid and being confused with all the news reports that you're hearing and all the different narratives that are coming into your head and all the different forwarded messages from WhatsApp and Facebook and Instagram. How about we hush the noise? Listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying and speak the right things. Try it out this week. Change your, change your tone. Speak something different and see how that changes your week. Right? So Thursday, we go live for our prayer meeting with Pastor Noel and Sunita. They are our campus pastors from C3 Clang. And every week on Thursdays at 8 p.m. sharp, we go live on our Instagram profile being shown to you right now on the screen. Get in touch with us if you have a prayer need. Get in touch with DM, get on our website, just Google us. You'll be able to find all our contacts there or get on our platforms and let us know if you need us to pray with you or to stand with you or to just simply listen. And we'll be there for you. And join us this Thursday at 8 p.m. for a powerful time of prayer. The only way we're going to break the system that is trying to divide us it's through the power of prayer. Yes, through the power of our words as well. But when we come together to pray, we're declaring nothing but the word of God. Not our opinions, not your political preferences, none of this matters. We're declaring the word of God over our situations, over our countries, over our world, over our lives. So join us this Thursday at 8 p.m.